Alright, hi guys, my name is Tina. Please don't mind my background um, music. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is another tutorial and it's a very tropical sort of smoky eye that I'm sorry, I burped. <laughs> so this is a very tropical um, smoky eye that I've created for the summer, especially for beach parties. I can just imagine using this in a beach party, but you know what? I'm not in the beach, I'm in the city, so I can still use this anyways. But basically, yeah, that's the point of this vi video. Um, I mean, look. It's really, really simple and very, very easy to do, as you can see. It's a really fast tutorial, hopefully, because I spoke really fast, so I hope it's going to be fast. But anyway, so it's, it's just a like just a summery look basically very tropical that's my word for this look so yeah it's really shiny and I like it because I'm tan like you know you guys know how pale I naturally am and this is me being tan and I like the color I like I like the I like it on my skin right now so yeah I've used this and a lot of people really liked it so I decided to um make a tutorial for it so yes, and I hope you guys will like this video. So without further ado, here's the video. Please stay and watch for the tutorial. I'm sorry, I'm really weird right now. I'm really hyper, I don't, I don't know where to put my energy in. So video it is. So yes, I'm really sorry for that. Okay, just, just go to the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is of course primer lids. And the primer that I use is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And you know, yeah, I think you already know how to apply that. So now we're moving on to our shadows. And I've I've used a lot of pigments in this look. So this is the first color that we're going to use. It's sort of like a gray, it's like a beigey color, beigey, beigey sandy color. And this is from Kirkland Cosmetics. And this is called Simply Gorgeous. What I'm using is this brush in Sigma. It's a concealer brush, but I, I want to use it for this. F75 concealer brush. And what I did is I used my e.l.f. makeup mist. I'm going to put the link where I bought this e.l.f. makeup mist because I know that you really can't buy this in the drugstores. So I'm just going to spray a little bit and then just get some of the pigments. This will give it a more um, sort of shiny effect. So just put it on basically the first half of your lid. And also um, put it in your lower lash. The mist is sort of a little stingy in my eye, so warning. Second is I'm going to use this color called Blue Brown. And this is MAC, and this is a MAC pigment. And this is just a sample jar that I got from another Facebook shop. And I'll also link hoops and loops, hoops and loops. And I'll also link it down below. Once again, I'm using another Sigma brush, and this is the tapered blending brush, small tapered blending brush. And this is the, 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 and this is the E45. And apply it in the outer half of the lid. This color is so cute, like it reminds me of E.P. from Katy Perry because it's like it's brown but it has like a dual chrome to it so it's like it shows up as blue sometimes. Swipe off any excess from the brush and just blend it a little bit more towards the crease. So now that looks a little bit harsh so I'm just going to use a clean blending brush. This is the E25 from Sigma again. All the brushes that I'm using are basically from Sigma. I'm just going to soften that just the tiniest bit. Short shader brush. It's, it's the stubby one like that. It's the one that hurts. So what I'm going to do is just basically just push it in my lower lash. Just keep pushing it in. Just like that. And now for the inner corners, I'm not using a Sigma brush on this one. I'm using this one from Marionaut. It is the N37 Eyes. And I'm using this um, crushed, uh, it's not a pigment, it's a, it's an individual eyeshadow from, I think, Intuit. It's the yellow one and I love this color for the inner corners as you can see, it just pops your eyes. I'm just going to use sort of a heavy amount of it, like that. Tap up a little bit of the excess and then just buff it in the inner corner. No 
activate it a little bit inside but focusing on the inner corners and then put some of the excess onto your um, eyebrow on your brow bone you want it more intense on the inner corners and just a little bit on your brow bones like that and once again take your blending brush to just blend everything together all right so now for your eyeliner it doesn't seem much it's a blended eyeliner basically and you are using the Nikido black brown eyeliner looks like this one it's, it's dark but it's not super dark you know what I mean we're leaning more into the browns so you're just going to roughly color like just like that and then right before it sets buff it in right away flat definer E15 from Morgan I'm just gonna blend it high up so it looks like that it just looks like a you know like a hue like a dark shadow on your eyes and that's what we're going for also apply it a little bit down on your on your lashes on your lower lash just to help make your eyelash look really thick and for the lower lash I'm using this one because it's a little bit more stubby and more rough I guess so that is it so far and now you're just going to put on your mascara and the mascara that I'm using is the Maybelline Hyper Curl Volume Express Waterproof Cat's Eye that is a mouthful and I'm using it because because I'm there. <laughs> I'm using this because you know it is really it's really black and I like it. That's it. So so that is it for the eyes and now for the face. I've already done it. I'm really really sorry, guys. So yeah, it's for a really tan look. Just like not a really tan look, but this is tan for me because I'm really naturally pale. So what I did is I used, um, what do you call this brush again? This buffing brush. I forgot what you call it, whatever. But I like, I swiped it like on my, on the, on my cheekbones, as you can see. And on my forehead, cheekbones again, and then my jawline, and just, you know, spread it all over. I used my e.l.f. Bron contouring and bronzing powder. It's usual, the brown one. And then, yeah, I just applied all over my face, really, like, around my face so that I can have, like, a tan look. And for the cheeks, I use my NYX Cream Blush in Tickled. And this is an orange... And this is an... And this is basically just, like, an orange blush. But the thing is, it has a... Uh, it sort of has a gold shimmer to it. So as you can see, like, my face is a little shimmery because of the blush and I love that because you don't have to put like a separate highlighter for your face so tickled is pretty amazing in the summer days so I've been using this a lot if not every day so now for the lips I don't really use lipstick and I've just been using my Carmix lip balm but if I would have to pick if I would have to pick um, a color for this lips I would definitely pick my next round lipstick in Indian pink and it's basically the same color as my blush like it's orange it sort of has a pinky on it but it also has like a gold like you know color to it so so this is the look basically and so I will get a better lighting soon hopefully my friend Gala will help me with that so anyways this is the look it's sort of like a tan smoky eye for the summer very very tropical looking and really easy to do so if you guys like this then please like comment and subscribe and of course pass this on to people who you know would want this look that's it bye god bless